welcome to Girls Game Show. We are playing Between Two Cities, the Capitals expansion today. And this is a tile drafting, tile laying game in which you are building a city with the person to your right and the person to your left. So you're between two cities. There. So you do that by laying down these different building tiles and then scoring them accordingly. If you've never played the base game, this is how a turn goes. You're gonna look through your stack of tiles and pick two putting them face down in front of you. Once everyone else has done the same thing, everybody reveals their tiles and then start discussing with both of their neighbors which building tile they're going to use in which city and where they're going to place it. Once everyone has done that, then you pass your stack to the person next to you and the whole thing begins again until you run out of tiles for that round. There are three different rounds in the game. The first round uses these single tiles. The second round uses these double tiles that have two buildings stuck together and you have to fit them in your city. And then for the third round, you go back to using these single tiles again. Let's talk about buildings really quick. There are six different kinds of buildings in the game, seven if you're using the expansion, and each building scores differently based on factors like how many of that kind of building do you have in your city? And what other kind of buildings is it next to? So for example, let's take the tavern building. You can tell what kind of building it is based on the shape and color in the upper left-hand corner. So tavern buildings are all red diamonds. The tavern buildings are also unique because they have four different kinds of icons within their shape. And you get more points based on how many of those icons you collect within your city. So for your first tavern tile, it'll be worth one point. Once you have another tile in there with a different icon, it's worth four points. The third icon you collect is worth nine points. And if you collect all four different icons, you have a whopping 17 points. If you start to feel overwhelmed or confused about how to score certain buildings, then you have this handy dandy reference card that tells you all about that. And at the bottom of each tile, there's a little guide on how to score it. The expansion adds three different elements to the base game. It adds these landscape mats that make your city a five by five square instead of a four by four square. And you have to build around certain elements within your landscape mat. It also has these civic buildings that help you boost your points in different ways. And it adds districts, which give you more points if you have certain types of buildings together in a block within your city. So for example, on this second district here, if I had a bunch of taverns and houses together in one block within my city, and I had the most of those, then I would get eight points. And the person who had the second largest district of houses and taverns would get four points. At the end of the third round, everybody tallies up the score for each of the cities. Now of your two cities, the one that has the lowest score is what you're gonna take on as your final score. And the player who has the highest final score wins the game. And that is how you play. Ready? And... Okay. okay. Oh, that factory. Oh, again, oh. with the factories. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really, oh, so yeah. Really, okay. I was feeling very overwhelmed at first because it seemed like a lot of points and a lot of different things, meaning a lot of different stuff and a lot of there. We unpacked it and there's little cards and big cards and maps and little buildings and I was feeling kind of like whoa. And then after we started going through the game, I it's a lot less complicated than it seems. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You should do this one. Wait, why? Because of this, right? Oh, yeah. You're oh. This right okay, yeah. Yeah. Wait, so no, but that's higher. easy to come by for those, but getting oh. all four of them is trickier because we have different symbols. So you could easily get another one that's either or this or that and use it on that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Or we could take the opportunity and do it right now. Because oh. who knows? It could be easy to come by, but I don't know. Who do you love more, Lily? Oh. <laughs> I did not like the banter aspect at either because it makes me feel like really disorganized and forced. It just doesn't feel like the game is moving. It just feels like a really like awkward pause in between. For me, I, I really like that about getting the, in there and like fighting for your the tile that you want and and you know being crazy about that stuff. It's like awkward for me because of my personality. I don't think it's like a game flaw or like a flaw with the mechanic, so to speak. 
this group that we played with was all pretty quiet and seemed very uh, content to kind of wait for everybody to talk, but that doesn't mean you necessarily have to play it that slowly or that calmly, you know, it could be kind of like a, make it like a trading floor game and everybody's kind of yelling at each other and trying to go as fast as possible. As you get more comfortable with it, you're gonna be able to make it that fast pace, make it maybe a little bit more cutthroat, a little bit more, um, just, uh, boisterous. It's gonna be harder and harder to find yeah. one of each kind. And that you just get plus one for putting it down, you know? Yeah. You need the little friends you together. Do that. And then you can do red one on the next one. Mm -hmm. I like you have two cities. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot to keep track of. Lot, but then also he's like, what if that's really for Gracious? Right? It feels like we're working together. Yeah. Or but we're not. Oh, yeah. It definitely feels like you, you sit down to play a puzzle with a bunch of people. And I like that because since I liked puzzles, it's nice to play it with other people and be able to win at it. All right. And then you pick two. Yeah, yeah. pick two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> In the second round, you get those obnoxious two tiles stuck together. And I love that because you have all these like great plans and there's like kind of things flow and you can kind of do things the way that you want to an extent. And then you get to that second round and you're stuck with these tiles. It's a very quick round, but it's enough to go ha ha and throw you a wrench and like mess you up. Here we go. Okay. So I put these down because we said we needed okay. more kinds of buildings. So, yeah. so yeah. I thought that would be beneficial for us. And I picked this for us to connect this, so yeah. I should yeah. connect yeah. this with right. one Heart, right? Yeah. The, oh no. like the option to choose one where the park was on one side versus the park being on the other side like the park was on the left versus the park being on the right and I chose the park on the right but then when I pulled the pieces out the park being on the left was the better choice I don't know so there's like a little bit of just like lack of control in that round that you don't face as much uh, throughout the rest of the game and everybody has two of them oh my and we can't be on the landscape. I know, this okay. one's hard. With modern technology, we could build over this water. Oh, and then we built a bridge. Oh, it's an extra challenge because you have those landscapes and they're like in the middle of your city. So, you know, city planning, how do we like make our landscape sing and not build over it? The back of the cards have this really beautiful purple and yellow, almost tarot card pattern. And the uh, reverse sides are all kind of uh, Victorian era kind of style themed. The visual aspect of this version of this expansion is a lot better, I think, than the base game. But now you have these like beautiful landscape mats to look at. All the civic buildings have like a lot of really nice detail to them and so and lots of different colors are used and so I like it better. So I love the artwork on the box of capitals. It's all these different ethnicities in this Victorian city and it just makes my heart happy. Okay. 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 So pick two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. oh my goodness. What do we need? What do we need? Uh, this, we want to park One, here two, to go next to our museum. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Is it going to be happy? Oh my gosh. Oh, but I don't oh, know if we're allowed to talk. Oh, oh yeah, not, we're not allowed to oh, talk. Oh, I'm so sorry. Right. Yeah. Let's do that. I'm gonna do what I'm doing. It's happening. Oh, but we, oh, we go the other way. Oh, we do. Oh. oh, do we? Yeah. I really like the aspect of the changing the cards because I think it really shakes up your own gameplay as well as others, and it makes it so you don't really rest on your laurels or get too comfortable. I feel messed up now that we're going the other way. Oh, but yeah. these are the ones that I'm oh, looking at. Oh wait, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're going the other way. So I would be taking those. Yeah, and putting it over here because before we were taking with our right hand and dropping with our left. Well, I had always thought of this as my pile, yeah. and I moved my pile that way. So yeah. that pile is what I had last time. That's still yours. Yeah, we just rotated the other way. But then we're like reaching across the other person. I mean, we can do it that way, but like, that's just like space invasion. Because you have to like literally reach across and you put it on. But we've been doing that for the. No, before we were trading like, for uh, one hand. Let's I'll slide it and I'll let you put it over there. 
Is that better? Where does this one go? It just that seems is absurd. yours. That's like, <laughs> seems what absurd you're way to go. Out, right? I and love then, when people's neuroses and then come out. Back <laughs> over this one. Over. Okay. Okay. And where do we put it? You hand it to the person that they can. You reach across <laughs> the other person because I'm not go. done. <laughs> Here you go. Um, high five, friend. Yeah. Bam. Check that out. Yeah, Woo. The and so that's good. Yes. yes. Oh. oh that feels so good. Oh. And then I have another perk. Yes. We're so close. Okay. To having beautiful cities. Ready? All right. One, two, three. I would like to talk to Melissa. Okay. Don't make decisions, Melissa. Um, I right. have music. I also Ooh. have a house. Okay. I don't know which one's better. I have a house. Um, and I'll put my house there. Uh, and then this will go here. And that would go there, I okay. think. Okay, no decisions, so okay. that's just the idea. All right. My intention was to get this and put it here so that we could complete this and get our six. Okay. What do you got? I've got um, a civic building because I was thinking we would make a district mm. if we could of houses and civic buildings because no one has a big one of that yet. This would be worth Neither if one we won eight points, and this is when we're not sure if we're going to get it, and this would be for sure worth six points. Yeah. So you have a house that you're planning on using over there, right? Or you have a civic building. I don't necessarily, I mean, a house would do us a lot of good in one sense because we have so much going mm -hmm. on. It would definitely get more points than just a civic building. And the civic building is not good over there? Look back and see if the civic building, okay, so we get were it. talking about putting a house here. Yeah, you guys go for it. I think we should both do red because then we get these points for having two different ones. That's all. Okay. Ooh. So I'm asking, don't use that one. And that, you know what, that resolves the issue here because then you can put your house there and we still get that. And then I can put my civic building here and get three points here. Mm -hmm. And then we can oh, put our house. Nice. Let's do it. So I'll yeah. put this here. Look, it all worked out. Ah. Does everyone have a complete city? Women running the world. <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, Check that out. Dang. Yeah. We get to score it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So that's the one that they from count the from. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this is the one they count. Well, okay. Which means okay. that they lost. Yeah. But their lowest score is the lowest score in the game. That's so sad. That's so I'm so sad. sorry. Okay. This is so good. Second. Okay. This um, is my lowest score on the board. Yeah, mine as well. Oh. So it worked out, I think, that there's two winners because we both had this is our lowest score. Yeah. If perhaps if perhaps like this had been your score, yeah. Then Then I would have won. No, then you would have won. Then I would have won. Yeah. But we but the fact oh, is yeah. that we both won, Melissa. Yeah, teamwork. <laughs> Let's not wonder about what if we didn't win. I was just trying to understand <laughs> what happened. How there were two winners. Two cities. Yay! 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 I really love how they make it so that your lowest scoring city is the one that you use for your score, because it's it's so tempting. You know, you start to fall in love with one of your cities and want to just shower it with all the best cards and it really prevents you from doing that because that forces you to interact with both of the people um, around you so it makes it a little bit more cooperative than a uh, screw of people over game which I always like and I've never played this before where I win with somebody else so that was kind of nice I enjoyed that I just feel like the game wasn't that exciting um it just like kind of feels like the very dull parts of life. I don't know, I felt like there was a few different ways the game could have been spiced up. I'm really sorry. I walk away from it and there's no point where I'm like, yeah, I really want to play Between Two Cities again. I'm just kind of like, that was cool. I really like this game. <laughs> I've, I've always said it, it feels like Sushi Go and Carcassonne had a baby and made between two cities and I love it. I would put this game on the shelf. Uh, I think it's a good game to play with a group of friends, maybe have a couple drinks, 
uh, and just kind of go crazy with it. I would not put it on the shelf. I don't think that I would put it on a shelf. I love this game. I, I love it with the expansion. I love the base game. It goes on the shelf for me. So we have two girls that, that didn't, it wasn't really their style, and two girls that liked it. So it's the way we've been doing it is it's going to go on the shelf, but we're going to have to play it again at some point. So on the shelf it goes. Have you played Between Two Cities? Have you played it with the expansion? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you like the show, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Check us out on, on Twitter and Facebook and all the things. And we will see you next time on Close Game Shelf.